and new tonight at 730. They give us unconditional love, but for people with disabilities and for our veterans, service dogs mean so much more. And now the nonprofit Guardian Angels is coming to Washington County with hopes of supporting those who need it most. Joining me now live over Zoom is Jack Wagner. He is the Regional Development Director for Guardian Angels. Jack, thank you for taking the time to talk about this exciting new campus with us tonight. Yeah, thank you, Megan. It's an honor to be with you. What opportunities do you think will grow out of this new campus being built in Washington County? Well, most importantly, we will double the number of dogs made available uh, to those that have visible and invisible disabilities. Uh, the only campus now is in Florida. Uh, the campus uh, to be built here in Western Pennsylvania in Robinson Township, uh, Washington County uh, will double the capacity of the number of dogs provided at no cost by Guardian Angels Medical Service dogs to mostly military veterans, first responders, and citizens with visible and invisible disabilities. And when you say visible and invisible, what type of things are people struggling with where they could use the support of a medical service animal? Well, for veterans, and, and I'm a Vietnam veteran, uh, the, the number one injury for Afghanistan and Iraq uh, is traumatic brain injury uh, due to improvised explosive devices. Uh, so TBI and post-traumatic stress and uh, obviously physical injuries are all areas that these dogs can help the recipient deal with. Wow. Uh, again, uh, many are visible, but many are invisible injuries. So you said your company based out of Florida. How did you find your way here building a campus in southwestern Pennsylvania? Well, uh, Guardian Angels Medical Service Dogs is a 501c3 nonprofit. It's been around for 11 years, started by Carol Borden, the CEO and founder. Um, they found us, uh, and they found us primarily because there's been so much support for sponsoring dogs at a cost of $25,000 per dog uh, to rescue, raise, and train a medical service dog prior to it be to be given at no cost to the recipient. Wow. Uh, we have had numerous um, companies here, individuals and, and a nonprofit organizations supporting uh, the raising training of these dogs so that they can be given to people in need. We always uh, say this area has so many veterans that live in this part of Pennsylvania. When would people be able to reach out and maybe be connected with you guys? Well, you can right now. Okay. Uh, Guardian Angels being based in Florida has, has paired over 50 dogs uh, here in Western Pennsylvania. Um, and keep in mind in their 10 years, uh, they have given uh, contractually uh, 350 plus dogs in 29 states. Wow. Uh, Pennsylvania has been one of the states with the highest number of dogs, primarily because of the organizations that have sponsored dogs. Well, Jack, thank you for coming on tonight to talk about this and for everything that you do. We will keep, keep up to speed on this as the campus is being built.